So I have my rectangle that's 3 inches tall by 10 inches wide, and now I want to get my bridge design into that rectangle. Now remember, this is just my sample. What you're going to be doing is your own design. So you're not going to be following along exactly with mine, but you're going to be doing similar steps along the way to make it yours. So it's a good idea to watch through the tutorials you know, once through just to get an idea of what you're doing before you actually start clicking on things. So I see, because I drew this all to scale, that I've got three inches here, I've got six inches in the middle here, I've got ten on the bottom, I've got three right there. So I know if I want to make this even, I have six up at the top, I have ten total, so that means that this right here is two inches, and this right here is two inches. So you need two, six, and two for a total of ten. So I want to come over here and mark two inches in, then my six inches, and then my two. So what I can do is make a line. Okay, we're going to click. I'm just going to bring it over. And I know I want exactly two inches. So I'm not going to sit here and try to get that two. What I'm just going to type in two, hit enter. It's going to give me this little nice little point right here. Come over another six, hit enter, and then I know that that's two right there. So. Computer's freaking out. Alright. So that's two right there. If you want to change that, remember you can always come over here, double click. If I want to make that, let's say, three inches. That's going to bring that over. It's going to keep that in there. So, two. Now, I want to draw a line from that point down here to the bottom. So let's take my line tool again. If I come over here, it's going to snap to that point right there. Come over here, right there. Same over here. This point to there. Now if I do the scale everything correctly, I should be able to figure out that this is one, two, three, four inches. So I'm going to do the same on the bottom with my line tool. Come right here to four inches. So that's one, two, and then that should leave me four at the end. Two. So now I have my points. So let's connect this one to that one. Let's connect that one to that one. And then, so I didn't create that point in the middle right there that I need to right here. Because this 10 inch line it will automatically show me where the midpoint is. You see I bring my mouse over and it's going to turn green right there. So that I know that that's right in the center of that 10 inch line. So that is roughly my bridge. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete these extra lines I don't want. In Inventor, that's called this Trim tool. So I can click on that and I can delete this line. It may give me some errors because Curve being extended, trimmed, or split has a dimension. Remove the dimension beforehand. So I know that this is three inches tall, but the computer won't let me cut that because the computer needs this to be three inches no matter what. So I need to get rid of these dimensions. So if I hit escape, go back to my arrow, if I click on my dimension and then hit delete on the keyboard, I can get rid of these dimensions. They should be good. I shouldn't need them anymore. 
But if I do, I can always go to this dimension tool up top and add them back in by clicking point, click a point, bring it up. That's my dimension. So go to the trim tool and delete these lines I don't need. You can click on it and that will delete that line or if I have the trim tool, if I click and hold down this little line it creates, it's going to delete whatever it touches. So that is my bridge.